do this, um, I guess, New Orleans uh, earlier. And just what's it, what's it like to see Devin in that mode again tonight? Yeah, it was like deja vu. Uh, as it was happening, I couldn't believe he was doing it again. You know, <laughs> you look up, he got 20 points in the first quarter. Um, and, then after, and what I love about it is he was on the floor again to start. Uh, pin downs, catching shoes, cuts to the rim, layups, one do pull ups, you know. Um, and that's the sign of a otherworldly score when you can do it in the floor, the offense like that. And then obviously you mentioned that, but it was those two drives I thought at the end there. Oh, yeah. How big were those? Yeah, I mean, it was a little off balance with the zone. We swing one time, the whole zone shifted, and swing right back to him, and he got the whole lane. They can't stand in front of him. Um, you know, those are huge shots, huge shots, I think. You know, they threw, they mucked the game up, do some some full court press, and then they were just putting their head down and getting right. to the free throw line, the fourth. So I like how we just persevered through everything. End of the third, you know, they came back. But we just kept playing. So um, everybody contributed. It was one of those, you know, huge team wins that we needed. You know, I think they're ahead of us in their standards. So, um we just need to win every game from here on now, so it's a big one. You guys pulled within one. Like, you guys now are one game behind. Okay. Then and we played them again, too, so right. um, you know, take your game at a time. Defensively, especially, just keep the game going so we don't stop so he won't get his rhythm on stuff. And we all guard up, made the extra pass, just looking for him, got the screen for him. And that's what teams do. That's what good teammates do. It's still trying to get the high hand, and he still plays within the floor of the game. Was there a stretch where um, you looked up? He had like 24, and the Pelicans had 22. Yeah. You, you've been in that mode before. No, not was, like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I scored 20 points in the first quarter. Um, you know, when you're making shots, you don't even think about nothing else. You just tell you that he was in his own. He was just in his own world. And uh, that's one of the best feelings in ball is just – I mean, that, when you're just totally in that zen mode where nothing really matters, everything just happens so effortlessly. And um, we can feel that as a teammates too, which you know, kept us going, inspired us to just do other things on the floor. And um, be some assistance when it's our time. The guys made shots tonight. How do you build off of this? Because it's been one of those, this road trip in particular, big win, that down loss, big win, that down loss. Just take it a day at a time. Man. Okay. Just keep grinding. We'll see how we play the next game. We're going to prepare the right way, get ready for our next game. Um, we're going to be excited that we get to go back home. It's been a while. I feel like we've been on the road the whole month. Uh, so, let's take it a game at a time, man. I know, I know we want to see more consistency out this unit. Everybody that's watching us want to see more consistency. But we're going to enjoy this one tonight and just prepare for the next game. I like seeing him be him against, <laughs> uh, against New Orleans tonight. Uh, really special, I mean, you know, when he gets in that mode, you know, feel like everything going in with us, uh, tough shots, open shots, just making the right play, making the game simple. Okay. Lastly, uh, the shot he hit over Herb Jones, uh, maybe take me through it from your the, vantage uh, point. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was coming. Uh, it reminded the game winner he had against the Knicks. Right. Uh, you know, he hit the square up, sidestep, three, tough bucket. I, mean, I, knew, I think he knew it was going to win.